Hey yo, what's up everybody? I'm gonna show you guys the Need for Speed Heat money glitch. All you have to do is load into a solo session. Remember that. Don't go online, solo session. Once you get outside, you can either fast travel to the dealership or you can just drive there, just like I did. I mean, why not? <laughs> just kill some time, I guess. Cool, cool, cool. Once you arrive, all you have to do is pick a car that you can afford. The best thing is just to buy a car that you can uh, afford. Like, even if you have two hundred thousand dollars, just buy the car for two hundred thousand dollars. In my case, I already have a lot of money, so I just buy the most expensive car for this glitch for this tutorial. But again, you can pick any car you want. If you're not comfortable with spending all your money at once before even trying the glitch for the first try. I suggest you just fucking try it with the, I don't know, with the card like 50k, even though you have 300k, just to make sure, you know. Alright, once you buy the car, send it to garage. Just send it to the garage, okay? Alright, once you send the car to the garage, just either drive back or teleport back to the garage. Alright, when you're back, just go to showcase and go to your warehouse and find the car that you just bought, okay? And select it. Here we go. Here's the car, just pick it. And then hover over sell car. Don't sell it yet, don't do it. Then you go. I'll show you in point of view. You go to your settings and turn off your network. Just go ahead to settings, go to network, and uncheck this checkbox. I always double press the PlayStation button so it directly goes back to the game. So it's a little bit of a shortcut. So from now on, all you have to do is just sell this car. There we go. Sold. And then just press R1 so you get back to this car. And then press the pause button. Just like that. Then you hover over it, go online. Don't press it yet. All you have to do is just hover over it. Now the next step is gonna be turning your network back on. Just double tap the PlayStation button so you get back to the network uh, shortcut. Turn it back on. Double tap again and then you get back in the game. And now just hold the PlayStation button and hover over close application and then just back out by pressing circle okay cool now just make sure you hover over go online just like that you see that I'm gonna show you guys some point of view as well right now once you press go online quickly hold the PlayStation button so your quick menu comes up and pay close attention to the, um, the loading bar the moment the second bar comes, you have to close the application. So just fucking spam X and close the fucking game. So pay close attention. It's gonna happen right now. Look. Slow motion for y'all. Here it comes. The moment you see that shit, press it. It might be slight, slightly off, but that's okay. As long as you just fucking close the game as soon as possible. Just start the game back up, just like that. I fast forward a bit because this fucking game is slow as fuck on this PlayStation 4. <laughs> Alright. What we're gonna look for is um, synchronizing failed when the loading starts, just like that gonna happen now this error should pop up if it doesn't pop up then you did something wrong then you didn't hit the timing or whatever so just try again then but if you get this attention uh, message you've done it perfectly fine 
The next part is very easy. All you have to do is go back to the network thing, just turn it off, turn it back on, just like that, yup. Go back to the game, and then accept that, uh, that message, connection lost, just press X, then go online and look at the money and see what happens. It might take a while, but once it is done loading, you're gonna see what happens. Three, two, one, oh, <laughs> boom! And now, just rinse and repeat. All you have to do, turn the network back off and back on. Go back to the game, accept this fucking message, go online, and watch your fucking money go up and up and up. You can just keep doing this you don't have to repeat all the steps like previously you can just do this over and over and over and over and over again and if you done this with uh, a car like 200,000 or whatever you can increasingly do this glitch all over again and just buy the most expensive car just like I did and then you have uh, one and a half million every fucking time enjoy y'all remo out peace